I didn't plan on talking about this for today's commentary, but the conversation you see me having with this kid in the gym is about injuries. Believe it or not, he was recently hit by a taxi and broke his tibia and fibula, and I know I've covered this in previous videos before, but I know so many people out there are dealing with injuries and setbacks, so I think some positive reinforcement is important in my opinion, and you can never really get enough of that. I get emails every day, Facebook messages, YouTube comments about people asking how to stay motivated through an injury. And having dealt with injuries myself, some as recent as even a month ago, I know how difficult it can be to stay motivated. You know, you're trying to get back under that bar, you're battling the fear of getting hurt again, I get it. It's not fun and you have to start from scratch, squatting, benching, deadlifting the bar and working your way back up and honestly that's not even the worst part. It's more of a, a physical and emotional roller coaster ride because we're in search of motivation but we can't seem to find it anywhere. And what I have found works best, as easy as it sounds, is to stay positive and optimistic. And I know you've probably heard that before, but believe me, I've had my fair share of episodes where I hated the world and kept asking, why me? But then I realized that never truly fixes anything. What makes it difficult is the fact that we follow so many of these people on social media. We watch their progress and we sit on the sidelines, but this should make us hungry for more when we come back. It's very easy to watch someone making progress in the gym, squatting 400, squatting 500, working their way towards their goals, and you're sitting there on the side. But if you can find a way to apply mental strength, your physical strength will come back twice as fast. So in the meantime, if you're just sitting on your ass feeling bad for yourself, all you're really doing is accepting defeat. And there are so many things you could be doing in the meantime to make yourself a better person. So if you are out of the gym for an extended period of time, take that time you would have spent in the gym and do something productive. Start a blog about your comeback and inspire the shit out of people. Start a YouTube channel. Even if you don't have much to film because you're out of the gym, explain to people the injury you had and show the process of you getting back into the gym. Show your physical therapy, show your stretches, show people that it can be done. Read a book and learn how to write a training program so when you do get back to the gym, you have something to follow for yourself that you could be proud of. You took the time to learn that and you wrote your own program. And I know this all sounds so easy for me to say, but I've done it myself and I've seen people who are far worse off than me make a hell of a comeback. I've talked with cancer survivors to people who were told they would never walk again. But today, today they're kicking ass and becoming stronger because they never gave up. So don't be so quick to throw in the towel and accept defeat. Keep your head up and remember, a setback is a setup for a comeback.